Ever since I started playing tennis at the age of seven, I had the dream to become a professional tennis player and make a living out of tennis. Today, I take the first step towards that goal as I start a one year mission to get my first ATP point. Every Sunday for the rest of the year, I'm gonna be documenting my journey and sharing it with you guys as I train, learn, and compete to gain my first professional point. It will definitely not be easy as there are only around 2,200 people with at least one point in the whole world, but I'm gonna make it my mission to get that point. But first, how do you get an ATP point and how am I gonna get there? Essentially, you have to win your round of 32 match at what's called a futures tournament. There are two levels of events, $15,000 events and $25,000 events. To get into these, I'll have to go through qualifying as I don't have any sort of ranking at the moment. This will usually be either two or three rounds at least just to get into the main draw. My plan over the coming months is to start playing British tour events, basically men's nationals tournaments, to get some match practice and then in around April to try my luck on the Futures Tour. And the journey begins now where I'm going to show you what I do in a day on my road to pro. So early. The annoying thing is, I can't even have any of my coffee. It's so hot. I literally almost burnt myself. That's hot. It is absolutely freezing outside. It's like negative two degrees. So it's currently 6.15, we got here 15 minutes before the start of our session. I'm playing with my friend James. We're gonna be playing for about an hour, and then we're gonna hit the gym. And after we'd done a proper match warm up for around 25 minutes, we moved on to warming up our serves to get ready for some points to finish the session. So that's tennis session one of the day done and now it's on to the gym. Today I'm working on lower body strength and some power work. I'll talk in more detail in future videos about specifically what I'm doing in my strength and conditioning program but for now enjoy this gym montage. Oh my god, I'm dead. Alright, gym session done. Let's go get some food.
But first, I decided to have a cold shower. These helped me to wake up and feel energized for the rest of the day, especially because I had to wake up so early. So my snack after a workout consisted of a protein bar, a chicken and rice bowl, and a electrolyte drink. So at the moment, my aim is to build muscles so I can get stronger and hit the ball harder. This means I have to eat more calories than I burn. I'll try to do this by eating healthy foods throughout the day to help fuel me up for my sessions. And I'll talk more about nutrition and specifically what I eat as a tennis player later on in future videos. But now, back to my day. When I got home, I made lunch and then got to work. This is where I'll plan for upcoming and current videos like the one you're watching right now. So just to show you guys how long editing actually takes, I'm going to be editing this video for one whole hour and we're going to check back up in one hour to see how far I've got. So after one whole hour, I've done 45 seconds of the video. Now that doesn't include any of the music, sound, any of the color grading, overlay, so you guys can tell. These videos are taking a long time, so if you are enjoying these videos, make sure to smash the like button. And before you know it, it was time to leave for my second tennis session of the day. I had a quick apple as a pre-workout meal in the car, and when we got there, I made sure to do a full physical warm-up. Usually, I like to do about 5-10 to 10 minutes of spinning on the bike just to get my legs loose, and then a full range of dynamic stretches and strengthening exercises which me, my physio and my SNC coach put together to help make sure I can play best on the court. Fans today. Still to decide whether it's going on the left or the right hand. I've got it. I'm going to put it on my right. In today's tennis session, we warmed up by just hitting through the middle, trying to find some good depth and some good rhythm. We then moved on to a drill where you have to feed cross, hit a high ball line, and then the points open, basically working on the defensive positioning and how well you can neutralize in the defensive position. We then also did that on the backhand side. Then finished your session with some points. We played a short set to four. At the end of the session we had a fun game of super bluff we basically played touch between all four of us this is a great way just to end the session and have a bit of fun to finish After the session was done, I like to do some recovery. Usually I'll do some foam rolling, some static stretching, or even have an ice bath if I'm feeling particularly sore or know I have a big event the next day. After that, it's time for dinner. Today I have potatoes, salmon, peas, and some kale. It's got protein, it's got carbs, and it's got vegetables. A great meal to end the day. And I try and aim to go to bed by about 10 o'clock. I would also love it if you guys join this journey over the year and subscribe to the channel. Like I said, I'll be posting weekly Road to One content every Sunday at 2pm. So if you're just as excited as I am for the year ahead, let me know by leaving a comment down below and dropping a like for the algorithm. Thanks to Bidi Badu and Dunlop Tennis for sponsoring this journey. I'll see you guys next week.